Hello reformers and welcome back to 16th century. Now when we left off we had just eliminated our first faction, the Kingdom of Scotland and now England and Scotland and Ireland they're all absolutely fine and all under the control of Kingdom of England. Now what has happened, yeah you, you may notice that I'm actually in Paris at the moment, there's a good reason for that because the Kingdom of France has now made peace with the Kingdom of England. So we are technically no longer at war against anyone. So this gives me a good opportunity to explore a little bit of the world as we know it. So, you know, at the moment we only have a very, very small corner of it unlocked and uncovered. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move on to this arena over here. I don't know what this arena does. So I'm going to assume that maybe it will cause some sort of problem but I don't know what so let's just see and hope that it oh my okay do I want to continue okay maybe okay what what is I'm oh my oh my they're gonna kill me they want to kill me yes they do whoa five damage from my crossbow that's not very good 48 okay that's a little bit easier oh no I missed of course I did fantastic okay seems like I might be might be dying here <laughs> they have some very very good weapons as you can see good weapons good armor I barely have enough to be able to kill them and wait a minute oh they're, they're moving away oh yes very nice you're giving me a good ample opportunity to reload ah oh, are you serious come on the, the strafing the strafing of these people really okay so let me just go up here I don't even know what I'm gonna get for this if anything what am I gonna get for this I have no clue. Well, it's hilarious that they're just kind of... <laughs> they're not able to come up here. This is amusing. Okay, can I kill that guy? Or at least shoot him in the head? That would be nice. Okay. Ah, oh, are you... Ah, oh, yes. This is, this is what grinds my gears a little bit about the... Shall we say... AI sometimes in Warband. Because... Whenever they, they don't know where to go, they kind of just strafe around all the time, which is very irritating, especially considering if you are a ranged attacker. There we go. Nice. 41 damage. Thank you very much. Give me a little bit more, please. <laughs> I'm so thankful I have a really, really big bag of bolts, because otherwise this is going to take a long, long time. Thankfully, however, hitting them in the head actually does do quite a lot of damage. So, there we go. We killed them. I, I, I'm not entirely sure if we were meant to kill them, though. I mean, that's the thing. You know, we, we kind of just entered here and they attacked... Oh. There's actually... Okay. There's more of them wanting to kill me. Okay, well, that's a nice headshot. Nice start. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. Okay, 21 damage. That's good, that's good. Okay, another nice headshot. Now we need to be very careful here. Oh, no. Am I dead? Oh no, no, it seems like I'm not. It seems like the AI is being a little bit weird about things. There we go, nice. Okay, phew, that was close. That was very, very close. Okay, so we are now level 10. So I suppose that's good. I mean, we've gotten something a little bit from this excursion, I suppose. I mean, what do I get if I actually win in the entirety of this arena area here? I mean, do I get anything for it? Oh, nice. Look at that. Killed that guy in one headshot. Very good. All right. I'm very thankful that I have so many bolts, to be honest, because if I didn't have this many bolts, I'd probably be in a really, really bad position. Anyway, ooh, these guys have the best armor ever, and I personally am very, very worried. Oh, okay. They don't have the best armor. Not on their helms, at least. Wow. Okay. So far, we're not doing too badly, <laughs> even though we are at a very, very low HP. Now, we do need to be a bit careful here because this is going to make a big, big difference. This guy right here is probably going to murder me pretty, pretty easily. Is he? Is he? Are we actually able to do some damage to him? Or maybe he's going to... Ah, he's going to bring someone. He's bringing someone to help him. I don't personally appreciate that. So I'm going to get up these stairs and hopefully that's going to protect me from the horseman, but the other guy is going to be able to... Oh no, I've activated more enemies. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, well... Oh, they're coming up there, and they have shields. Well, this is not nice. Okay, well, come on then. Are you are you going to... Are you going to come over here and try and murder me? Yeah, you probably are. Okay, so let, let me see if I can just get over to a bit of a safer area, so I don't 
get murdered from every single direction. Just one. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, we can actually kill the horseman from here. There we go. We got him. And now maybe I can shoot these guys in the in the feet. Maybe. No? Oh, they're doing a dance. They're doing a dance right now. They're just like, yes, uh, dope seed dough and, you know, switch the... Uh, switch their positions and toss your partner to and fro or whatever the whatever the thing is. Anyway, we're gonna... Oh, I don't even know. Is there any any reason for me to do this? I mean, I could get on that horse, but I don't think I have enough riding skill for that, do I? Probably not. Probably not. Is this even... I, that's the thing. What, what is this for? Am I gonna get anything for killing all of these guys? Ah, there we go. I can shoot them in the kneecaps. Oh, that, there we go. That seems a little bit more effective than what we were doing previously. Do bear in mind that I have a limited amount of bolts. So if I run out of bolts, eventually we are going to have a big problem because I am not very good in melee combat at the moment. My power strike is, you know, at a decent level, but my weapon obviously isn't the greatest. My proficiency is also going to let me down quite, quite badly. But there you go. Okay. Fantastic. Right. So there is actually someone else, I think walking into the wall down here, so... Is he? Yeah, there he is, there he is. Uh, oh, there's actually two of them. There's actually two of them. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Are you literally not going to... What, what are they doing? They're, they're being a bit weird about things. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here then. Oh, someone else has been activated. Okay. Well, let's see if I can shoot this guy. Yeah, nice. Good headshot. Good headshot. Okay, we're saving bolts. We've got 16 left. I need 16 shots to kill 16 units. Oh, oh, that was very, very, that was very, very close right there. Now the problem is, how are we going to fix this? How are we going to fix this? Well, there are a number of ways, but it really depends on... I mean, obviously they're not actually wanting to come up the stairs here, so we have an advantage in that respect. I mean, some of them have come up the stairs, but most of them really do not want to, so I, I guess they just have some sort of phobia of stairs, which is good. Good for us. Where are they, actually? Do I need to go down? Oh no. Okay, well, it seems like I'm going to have to relinquish the safety of the elevated ground, and then we're probably going to get attacked. Where are they coming from, though? That's the thing. There, I mean, I know there is one over there, but where's the other? I think there are two left. Ah, oh, there, there he is, there he is. Okay, so you see... Oh no! He's free! He's free, this is not good. There we go, yes, we killed him. Okay, fantastic. There is a horse over there, but I would, oh no, I don't have a very good athletic skill. This is not good. Let's take a look and see where he is. Oh, there we go, okay, he's running away. That's fantastic. Why do I not wear my helm, by the way? Why is my helm not on? Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, there we go, that's what you get. Okay, so, what do we, what do we get for that? Did I get something? Do I, do I get something for, for winning this, or? Wait a minute, I think there might be one more enemy remaining. I find it very strange that we can just come in here and, and just start killing enemies. Uh, I don't even know. Okay, so, is, is that it? Is there a chest that I need to... Oh no, there, there is actually one more person. Aha! Yes. Okay, oh no, oh no. Hello, okay, would you mind, um, yes, just leaving me alone real quick? I'd like to shoot you in the kneecaps a little bit. Oh no, running into this. That's not good. Okay, well, this is a this is an adventure and a half, isn't it? Fantastic. Okay, could you could you just slow down a little bit and maybe lower your shield for a second? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go up here because I highly doubt he is going to be able to follow me, but if he does, then he can try, you know. He can absolutely try and do that. Okay, let's see. Do are we gonna are we gonna have an opportunity here? Are we gonna have an opportunity? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. So I, uh, my reward is why why. Yes. <laughs> my reward is why why. Oh no, there we go. There we go. I received an item. It is an X I E four. Yeah, that's a laser rifle, right? Yeah, it's a laser rifle. Oh no, it's actually a, a pair of uh, reasonably nice boots. So there you go. That's what you get for completing that particular event. And that's the kind of thing that I would like to do throughout the entirety of the land. So hopefully we're going to be able to find a couple more instances of that. And uh, yes, as we as we do, we're going to continue getting paid 
by our mercenary payment, of course, and all that sort of thing. Oh wow, this is this is very very large, isn't it? There's a lot of towns and a lot of castles and things like that to deal with over here. All right, well let's continue going downward. I'd like to find more of those sort of white event areas. I think that would be pretty fun. So if we can, that would be great. If not, then, well, I just have to deal with it. Now, I think we can go across here to Northern Africa, but I'd like to go around and just make sure that I'm not missing anything, I suppose. So I guess we could kind of count this as more of a an exploration episode. And we do have Barcelona there. And I would assume we also have a bunch of things in this direction as well. But maybe not? Oh, no, no, there we go, there we go. Okay, so that is, that is that, okay. We have actually advanced in level a little bit. Aha, hello. This might be a, wait a minute. This is a dark blue. Dark blue, okay. So we don't know of anything that is dark blue at the moment. So let's, let's have a look-see here. We're going to obviously improve our infantry and things like that. Definitely want to level up this companion, get him some more power strike. He's going to be really, really powerful with that horse and everything. So hopefully he's going to do a good amount of damage for us. Going to improve this guy's iron flesh because you never know, a stray bullet might hit him and we want him to survive at least one hit. And we have advanced twice. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So what do we want to do? Well, the thing that I was doing beforehand was just going for agility. So I suppose I'm going to continue doing that. And we're going to get some more athletics and more weapon master. And that will in turn enable us to level up our crossbows a little bit more. Obviously, I don't really want to spend too much in the crossbows because, again... You know, we're going to be getting that in due time. And our one-handed weapon proficiency is absolutely awful. Okay, so what's... This is a... Okay. This is a village. But it is a different color to that of... Oh, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. I just have not uncovered the rest of the area over here. Okay, okay. So, yeah, my bad. I actually thought that there was some mysterious village or whatever. But anyway, yeah. Seems like we can just go into the next land and see what's going on there. Aha. Uh -huh, hello there. Okay, the states of North Africa, and well, well, we can just go over in this direction and see what's going on, and maybe we'll find something there. Oh, oh, ooh, okay, there might be something going on soon between Spain and North Africa, because their truce has expired. That would be pretty fun to see what happens there, actually. Okay, so I've been searching around a little bit more, and as you can see, I have made my way along the coast. Now... We have come across another one of those neutral white areas here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save because you never know in these kinds of mods whether these sort of white neutral areas are going to cause a crash or something along those lines. So I'd like to try and avoid that if at all possible. Anyway, let's go in and see what is happening here. It says the desert. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit sure that we're probably going to... Well, this is, this is pretty amazing. Nice. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Now, if we could find a chest, I think that would be kind of nice. Maybe there, there's going to be a chest in here? I mean, there doesn't seem to be enemies, at the very least. So I would assume that that means that there's going to be some sort of treasure, perhaps. I mean, we're probably going to be on some sort of treasure hunt now, aren't we? Anyway, let's see if I can... Can I go through here? I can go through here, okay. A little bit worried about the jail cells, or the various cages that are here. I personally don't want to end up in one of those, thank you very much. So, if I could... Oh my, okay, what's going down here? There's there's water down here. I don't really want my armor to get rusty. Mm. Oh, this, this actually looks like the right way to go, so maybe we're just going to have to explore a little bit and find out what's going on down here. I mean, maybe... It's going to be... Wait a minute. It looks like this might be too flooded for me to actually search any further. And if that is indeed the case, then obviously I'm a bit disappointed. But, well, maybe we can go under the water? If I die instantly, then you know why. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, it seems like... It seems like... No. It seems like we're fine. What is that? Oh my. That is... That is a bit creepy. Especially consider... What? That is a... A skeleton, that is a skeleton, but there's also a thing behind it wanting to kill me. Okay, well, that, this is 
This is this has taken a turn for the worse, hasn't it? Okay, well, I'm fighting underwater at the moment, so I must have some sort of breathing apparatus available to me, which is perfectly fine. It's a rebreather, you know, from Fallout. And there we go. Undead Walker. Aha. Uh -huh. An undead walker. And that is a very creepy pose. It looks like he's doing some sort of Tai Chi or Kung Fu. Either one. Anyway, let's continue onward and see whether maybe there's something here. There's definitely going to be something here because there would not be an enemy otherwise. This is actually really creepy. Look at this. They've placed all kinds of things upside down and wow. They're all they're all they're all in they're all in that pose. They're all in the pose that tells me that they are very serious about their well-being. Anyway, let's see what we're going to do. Yeah, take that in your kneecap. Yes, that's what we like. Can I shoot him again? No, it's unlikely. At least these aren't really wearing the best armor, so obviously it's a little bit easier for me, you know, considering I don't particularly have the best weapon proficiency at the moment. Oh, really? That was a lot of damage right there. Ouch. Did not really want to take any more damage than I already had, but oh well, never mind. Guess I should really use my crossbow a little bit more once I see these guys, but that one had a shield, so... Yeah, I suppose I can be forgiven a little bit for that, but anyway, it seems like we might be getting to the end of this passageway. I am so thankful that they did not add any kind of breath meter or something like that, because if, if they did, then that was... Ugh, yes, I, I, I would feel very, very frustrated by that. Anyway, aha! A destructible target. Alright. Let's see what we can do, then. I'm gonna take quite some time over this, as you can see my... Yes, my efforts are very, very feeble at the moment. I'm not entirely sure if this scales with Power Strike or anything like that. I don't think it does. I wouldn't think so. It probably just scales whether it's a two-handed or a one-handed or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, hello. There's another one. Okay, now if you could just not attack me, that would be nice. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Come on now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're walking into the bad things, which which are my blades. Yes. Okay. A little bit more. Yeah. There we go. Using our sword's reach as a well, rather decisive advantage. That's that's half the battle right there. Yes. Okay. So I think, considering this was behind the door, that we are going to. Oh yeah. We're leaving the water. I do not want to fall off these stairs. I have a feeling I'd probably enter some sort of... Oh, hello. Yes. Probably enter some sort of trapped state or whatever. Okay, so let's just be a little bit careful here. I need to make sure that I just shoot him in the shoot him in the legs. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, you fall down there. Thank you very much. Okay, so I can go up there? Seems like I can go up there. Yes, I need to go up there. So it seems like I need to do some sort of acrobatics. There we go. Okay. Wow. This is quite the adventure, isn't it? I'm very, very surprised that there is such a lengthy area down here. I thought it was just going to be a small little place for you to, I don't know, just search around for something. But apparently I went the right way initially, which is quite rare. Oh, hello. Oh, my. Okay. Well, this is... Oh, okay. This is absolutely fine because they apparently cannot navigate. <laughs> they cannot navigate around. This is fantastic. Okay, goodbye. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, wow. He's taking quite the tumble, isn't he? Okay, so thankfully they are not wearing the biggest shields ever, so I can use my wonderful, wonderful crossbow skills and eliminate them. Ah, uh, oh, I was really hoping that he would fall off the edge there, but no. Okay, so if I can just go over this way. There we go. Right. Okay, so technically I can take this guy's shield if I want. Should I take his shield? I'm going to take his shield. Why not? I mean, it's it's not as good in terms of the size that I currently have with my one, but it is a little bit better condition-wise. So if we need a shield to block some melee attacks for us, then that's definitely the way to go. Oh, that guy managed to survive. I think that I I think that they have about 48 HP or something like that. Ooh, that was a headshot. Nice. I'm actually very surprised I got past the shield there. All right. Well, we must be getting to the end soon, and I can only imagine what awaits us because this isn't exactly the the easiest challenge, is it? Oh, there's a nice hit, but this guy is going to be able to fight us. Whoa, he has a pretty menacing-looking weapon. 
Okay, got to be a little bit careful of this. There we go. Oh, nice. 30 damage. Yeah, that's what we like. Okay, so can I get a little bit more? Can I get a little bit more? Just a little bit, please. Oh, really? A thrust? Come on, Byron. Are you serious now? There we go. There we go. Why did he go for the thrust? I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyway, let's just get reloaded. There is definitely going to be that one guy up there still, and he's, he's raring to attack us, but he's going to be a bit stuck, I think. Oh, there he is. He's gone all the way over there. That's not a very good idea. All right, I have 42 shots remaining, and I think we're almost at the top. Whatever the top of this is, I actually don't know. It seems like some sort of abandoned dungeon palace place, yes. Okay, uh, uh yes. Ah, okay, well, I actually thought he was going to jump down, but apparently not. Is he going to jump down now? No, he's just going to flop around up there. That's absolutely fine. Ah, okay, okay, so we have... Two, oh, they're not they're not actually going to jump down. I'm actually really surprised that they are having so many difficulties with the pathfinding here because that's you know that stairway is well made. There's no there's no reason why it, you know they would be unable to come down here. But oh well, never mind. I'm going to take advantage of this because I do have a crossbow, of course. I want to make sure that we are able to access the treasure at the very top. Let's see. What it is. Ooh, that is a large chest. Now, what do you bet that we're going to get an XR3 laser rifle? <laughs> ah, I'm just kidding. But anyway, let's see what we can get. Anything? It, I, I'm pressing F. I am pressing F. Do I hit it? Do I? Oh. Is it? Uh, okay. Did I? Did I do this for nothing? Did I do this for nothing? I. Oh, okay. I'm going to shoot it. That's what you get. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do did I need a key? Perhaps. Cause, oh no, no. There we go. I, there's one more guy. There is one more guy that I need to kill. Okay. Well, my bad. I was really disappointed there for a second. Okay. So, where is he? He's gonna be walking into the. Yeah, there he is. Okay. So hopefully I can shoot him from here. Maybe. Maybe if he walks away. There we go. Nice. All right. Oh. Oh, okay, so I didn't even need to loot the chest, but I... Oh, I gained a Saranid Veiled Helmet. Is that better than what I have? It is not, but it is a helmet that I can probably give to one of my companions. So I suppose, yeah, you know, it's pretty decent, you know. Oh, it's actually not even as good as what I currently had on this guy. All right, well, at least we explored it, and that was a pretty nice, unique event, and... I got to say that those kinds of events are the reasons why I actually really like mods like this. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.